Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another adjustment layer and in this case it's going to be curves. Now what we're going to do this time around is we're actually going to do the opposite of what we did here. We've got a black paint area that is basically poking through or saying do not apply levels in this part of the shot. This time what we're going to do is we're going to have a, a mask and that mask is first of all going to be set to be all black. So technically speaking when it's all black it's going to be saying do not apply this curves adjustment anywhere in the image and then we're going to start painting on white to say only apply the curves adjustment in this part of the image. Now there's again you can you can get black into that mask any way you want but probably the quickest way of doing it is to either hit uh, command or control I or you can go up and find um, image adjustments invert and what that does is it flips that mask from white to black it inverts it from black to white or from white to black so now what we're doing is we're going back over here and we're saying right paint a bit of white here over our subject's face. Now we can go back and paint this again if we've gone too far or, or whatnot. Now the reason I'm painting it first, which might seem a little bit counterintuitive, is that when I start to apply these curves adjustments I want them to only show up in the area because I want to be able to make a kind of a visual uh, decision based on the entire image whether his face is you know the curves are working right not just on his face but relative to the, to the, the rest of the image. So once, once you've got that mask set up so that only in the little white area is the mask going to be applied, then we can double click and we can start making very subtle adjustments to try and get, you know, to get the, the, the shadows a tiny bit darker or maybe just get a tiny little bit more contrast, but nothing like what we have on the jacket here. So to get contrast, we just go up to our curves and we we kind of aim roughly for the 25% the, the mark on that curve or one quarter of the way up and we drag it down and we take a look at the image and we see okay there we go it's starting to get a little bit darker the eyebrows the shadows are starting to get a little bit more contrasty and then we go up to the brighter parts and we just pull those gently back up so that we add a little bit more light into the skin into the forehead things like that. So this is after giving us just a little bit more definition to play with. And if you want to see a before and after, just click on the eye next to that adjustment layer. And you can see that we've got a nice little bit of detail back in. So again, these are selective adjustments. And we've, we've worked with a reverse mask uh, for this one so that we can say, okay, I'm going to paint over his face and I only want the curves to be applied in that area.